So round three has started. We want gyro once again. We're going to play first. Mm. I think thanks to the force land being a canopy, we can keep the hand just because Nakadl plus a removal and Hierarch to help cast a 3 drop that we might draw into and boosting the Nakadl should be barely good enough to keep it just because turn 1 Nakadl is really good against a lot of legs, especially followed by Exalted. Let's see what we are up against. Okay. That seems like maybe a rock twin or it could also be for example scape shift with main deck lightning bolts. Okay, most likely just Rock Twin. Fair enough, we found another threat. See if it's gonna resolve. It did. And fetch land to protect us from a potential combo attempt. I actually am inclined to just pass right there. But hmm. No, I think I just fetch a plane and wait. Since the Exarch itself is not really relevant against the 4-5 Golf, so waiting might lead to something like that, the opponent just aggressively going for it. And it's also better if he has, for example, two combo pieces and uh, two creatures and a twin. And if I pass the first with no other removal, he can just do what he did right there after I killed the first guy and win a game that he shouldn't be winning. But it seemed fairly ambitious there to just go for it. Wonder why he did it. Seems like bad play to me. But hard to judge without knowing his end and what he was thinking when he did it. But certainly good for us.
Mm -hmm. Do I want to trade golfs here? Oh, I think I'd rather just eat a creature. Trading golf's kind of bad with him having an ooze too. So the interesting question is, do we just wanna like try and get him with Kethic? Can pump for four. Hmm. Can drink the knight to four four. So Golf can eat Knight, Ooze can fight Ooze, and you would go to 1. I think I just go for the Kassig attempt here. Also makes it harder for him to get Knight down to the smallest possible size. Wait, wrong land. There we go. Classic Wolfram. Two. Three. Oh, two. And it seems seems appropriate. That leaves us with one mana to use ooze on whatever we might need to and still presenting lethal. Okay, that's fine. Okay, he scooped up his cards after considering his options and realizing he pretty much has no options. Okay. Against Drug Twin, Unified World is probably not that good compared to the Blue Red version where Unified World is actually pretty solid. And I definitely want all the pairs there. 
and Omri seems better too. So I think just gonna cut the Elspeth for a Grim Lava Mentor. Okay, that's a pretty bad hand. Going to ship that. That's a decent one. Pretty good mulligan to six. <laughs> Fetch stomping ground. Getting bolted anyway. Going to be a bit conservative with the fetching and play at Hamburg. This allows for a really huge knight this turn. Just hope he doesn't have to combo. He most likely at least will have to combo creature. Question is if he does have to combo. Since there's no really good way for us to represent even a way to stop him. I'm just playing as if he doesn't have it. And apparently he does. Quick game two. Pretty good keep. Fatland pass. Just going to save some time and fetch a tap something right just right now. Voice and go. It's a lot nicer if they can't really play their combo pieces end of turn unless they really can kill you 100% because the voice token is such a pain for them. Hmm. Or if it is, then sure, go right ahead. Give me that token. Cute appetent.
not quite sure how that was worth it to him, but there's the greedy all in move again. Bye bye. Golf's gonna be big but not big enough. Can't even attack. That seems very reckless. I mean I can literally have anything here, that's just really bad play. That guy is not very good at his deck. And GG. Okay, there was a fairly quick 2 1 against Drug Twin. We are 2 1 now. See you in the last round.